getting fried, getting fried, Emerald style. Good morning, folks. 10.35 a.m. on the 8th day, 10th month, 2022. And I'm having a look here at the uh, geoengineering conditions that are setting up an incredibly bad storm. And this this beam here actually is, uh, you should nearly celebrate that if you're living in this area. Because that's going to near destroy this moisture up on the top of this storm going to allow just a bit of a gap for that to continue to come through here and clear out but that that's going to be a destroyer i've seen them in the past if it have left a corridor you see that one spot on that beam is nothing right that's all there's less uh density in here as this pulsation is most of its full rings here is going to destroy this so that's good news for you guys however the root but some of these cells here north of here is, as they meet their doom are going to be quite damaging with hook trails and stuff in Sydney. Oh my God. Um, I hate to say it and I told you so. But I told you so. I told you so long ago. So I'm not going to just keep I told you so. And I'm, I'm just looking at these uh, chem bomb clusters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's chem bomb cluster. With hook trails. So this is a damaging storm. I've been keeping an eye on it. Yeah it's a bit of a rotation. It started from nothing to something. And then here it goes. And it was all chem bombed. Cam bomb, cam bomb, cam bomb, cam bomb, cam bomb. And there she is, full born, headed that way. Torrens Creek's going to be a torrent of rain because that's falling very quickly. Um, I'm going to go right, right to it. you got to see these accumulations for the next 24 hours down on the gong and south and the entrance and all that. And everybody's in agreement. So let's just go right to it. It's, a, it's very bad. And there's three centimeters in the next 12 hours up to four in some of these areas or higher. Here's your falls, four centimeters. And these are all in the mountains, and they're all draining down. And it's very important now we be vigilant. You do not endanger the life of an emergency worker. You, you bug in sometimes instead of bug out. Uh, some of these totals I've seen, I, I, this is possible, I say higher. Because the wind blowing offshore is bringing a lot in. And some are showing incredibly high. High concentrations for the next 24 hours for this area through here, which I believe a warning had been given for. And there's your 8 centimeters, 9 centimeters, 13 centimeters of rain falling in the next 24 hours possible in these areas, Singleton. So I think this is an important Newcastle. Oh, my God. Look at that. Right. They say, hmm. They say, hmm. They go, oh, my God. Icon goes. So who are you believing? Right? Believe the pressure. Believe the chem bombs. Okay? You guys are going to get smacked. I wasn't agreeing with them totals. That's why I said six plus. But down here by the gong, yeah, you're getting it. Because as the storm turns back around, it has to. It has to absolutely clobber you guys. And to see this come inland here is very well possible. But if it's coming in here, I say it's coming in here too. Or are they just counting on that water that's raining down here? very heavily 12 you know and a half centimeters to just run down in here it has a place to go this area will be inundated with water if you live in this area you uh, consider what elevation you're at because you had that 60 with what coming downhill or moving over on level ground through the catchment areas of places let's say like brank brank branston i'm just gonna say brand like the pickles and uh, then you got the uh, the Hunter Expressway here, which is going to have water running all over it. And every time there's a bridge, it's going to be pouring off. And, well, Greta over here, I regret to inform you the campbines really do suck. And I'll show you what they've done to you, Greta. My God. So that's up there in Newcastle over here. And you're not going to pick up the campbines on this type feed very good. I'm going to tell you that straight off. But you do get just enough. So this is the area where Greta is. So let's look at Greta. The flooding of Greta. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? How dare you go along with a pigtail girl who was cut in school acting like she had a bad life? She should have been put in a detention center. Look at the bomb going off here. Boom, 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 going to plumes and the demise of people. And boom, 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 going to plumes. And what are they trying to yield here? What's coming up? What do they want? They want your land. They want the Singleton. Look at the bend in the river, Hunter View. Is this higher berm than that? 
Do you have a levy here? How's that levy doing? Is that marshland? Looks like it to me. Gonna be a bit, gonna be a bit swampy down on uh, what's this uh, Bridgman Road? And if you got a bridge over there and you're on higher ground, enjoy your view. You're gonna be there on the chem trail, all that trail over here, the Singleton trails. Well, we got some Singleton trails up here. We got them on a lot of different feeds actually, and if they feed the storm with chem, as we look dead kind of around this area here. Newcastle is north of the Scrotations here, so it puts us about here. And you, on this type feed, you can pick up the, uh, the high-level deployments and the EMF signatures like this going on on the low deck. These, these little ripples you see here that just stay in place. They don't go anywhere. They're not going with the storm. If you just keep your cursor there, you'll see you just got a standing wave going up and down. Exciting molecules in the atmosphere. Testing the mic. How's the sound quality? I'm going to have a quick peek on my phone to test quality. So give me a moment while I'm just going to run this. Actually, you know what would be a good thing to run for you right now? Well, let's let's look at your uh, weather plan for the next 24 hours and have a really good look at this. Because that area is fucked. That, that area might be your fucked zone. And as, as you go in through today, these are some extremely heavy falls that are impacting this area. You guys have already gotten a good bit, but you ain't done. As this swings around, it's going to impact Sydney Harbor. It has to. And it's going to force water all up in these back areas. This is a very dangerous, volatile situation from here to here. And to see these heavy falls in the 8 and 10 centimeter range is not going to surprise me at all. Not at all. But, you know, if you're prepared for things, then, you know, you're prepared for them. How do you prepare for a rain? I don't know. Look out the window. Maybe wash your windows ahead of time so you got a good view. I don't know if window, wind, windshield wipers on the outside of your big windows nowadays so you can uh, watch some things. So I'm going to do it now is I'm going to click the feed on my phone. Oh, no, I hear myself. So now I can read your comments coming by. So there you go. So if you want to make comments now, I can answer you if I look. Yeah, these storms coming in through Newcastle here in about, uh, well, this is now, two hours from now, is very bad. Very, very bad. Very heavy downpours. These are damaging. And the wind's coming ashore. Um, what's the high tide in Newcastle today? High tide, Newcastle, Australia is. Uh, 724 a.m., which is 10 hours and 30 minutes and 23 seconds from now. So really, you're, you're getting an ebb tide right now, feeding back and water off. That's, that, that could be a good thing. However, if it's holding it up in the air inside a storm surge, that is a very bad thing. That's actually feeding the funnel. That's not good. So know your tides along these areas. Very, very important right now as these winds increase. And you're going to get some winds over the next 24 hours. It is. It's going to get bad. Keep telling you this. What's this big tongue of crap? That's a, that's a tendril of cold air causing the lull. When this came ashore and it met all this wind, it had to spin. I keep telling you this. Hey, Brooklyn, how you doing? Here's your winds, and I'm going to go back to your rains. Yeah, I know I'm a little all over the shop, but you get what you pay for, which is nada. And here's your big winds. So wax your boards, folks. Wax your boards. Here's your surfing moment. You are going to have a surfing moment. That's a fucking wind right there, man. That's going to make that low pressure very quickly go up your coast a bit. See, it's going to extend this out. Which is going to then drag that moisture from here, 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 and here, all the way up to about, about up here easily. Um, to, should I point out that that's a cyclone? Look at the wind strength. That wind strength is a Category One tropical cyclone, according to your uh, your charts. Did you know? Did somebody tell you you was going to have a cyclone across Sydney? Probably about uh, about ten days ago. I think this guy named Robert Deutsch did. You guys trash me a lot. I'm damn sure keeping some people safe today. So that's the path of these winds. And I'm telling you these winds for a reason because some people are traveling up and down these highways today to go to various events being held in some of your major cities. And I want you safe. And I see a way that they could flood out your roads again while you're on them. These bridges are unstable. They're not designed to take a thousand trucks all at once going through some back road because it's the only thing open. You're going to destroy your own infrastructure if you're not careful. So take care of going across these things and get to the places you're supposed to go. Do not give up. Never give up the ship in a storm. 
And when the seas are floundering, ask for help. We'll all grab the tiller together, man. We'll ride this shit right the fuck on right out. Because I got your backs, Australia. I got your backs. Because someone needs to. Somebody mind pulling some of the knives out of the back of mine while you're just standing there. <laughs> but I got your backs. Oh, my God. Here you go. Sudden, sudden wind nucleation oddness in the middle of the country. Huh? Hey, let's have some wind. That's the trough that's feeding the low. It has to do this. It's sucking from all the way up here. Some moisture's coming down into the cold. And you're going to fuel around through it. Here she comes, conding up. As you're being conned that this is some kind of a El Negro effect. We, we, they're treating you like a, like a bunch of idiots. Really. In the darkened skies. In, in conding up. And you're being conned. Sedona, have it again. You're going to be the brunt of the winds as this spits off a second low. And then this southern dives. So we'll be expecting an EMF beam shooting down here into the bite on Monday at about uh, probably about here to do that move to cut this storm and then that is free to flow. That's how that's going to work. And I've already analyzed this with anally retentiveness of watching radar far too often. People are like, what are you watching tonight? Yeah, I'm just watching a radar. I'm watching my mother. And this is a full-fledged steamer. This is going to be abusive storm. Right, even right now, before it gets in the influence of the local radars in the camp, I'm, she's rolling, man. She's fucking rolling. She's a steamer. And she'll spit off, pow, big tendril of moisture. Meanwhile, coming up from the tropics to meet it, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? The flow. Here comes the flow for the tropics. Bring that moisture in. Break it all wet in the entrance. You'll need your Gosford boots. And somebody said... If you go three three quarters of the way up to the entrance, you, the entrance is going to be mighty, mighty flooded. It's not a good thing. The siltations and the toxic sludges from the land, the, the people using their yards and golf courses and other places, and they're ended up out in the waters. And they'll settle in that sand, so when you're out there making sandcastles, you're just sitting in a bunch of heavy metal crap. Sandcastles nowadays, are. I would like to have them tested. Because if it's not healthy for shellfish to be there to sift it and clean your waters, there's something that's very right. Indonesia. I think uh, this is not Indonesia. This is Australia. What, has they got a plan for you? <laughs> I think there's a little glitch there. That's Indonesia. All right. Your political map has changed. They brought Indonesia closer to Australia. Why don't they just chip this piece off and get over with? It seems like they're coming for it. Who bought all your ports? As we get another little spinner coming here, just, just sweeping all this crap into broom, sweeping it along as your ball back goes. You got a little stream or a freaking wind. And this is wind. Yeah, so don't be panicking like it was some rain. But what follows the wind that day? Why should this come ashore? You got to see this, man. I've been, I knew this was coming. I was watching this baby since it was under Africa. So now I get to watch how the geoengineering moves. What did they do? This is how you study something. By observation first, and you and you realize, hey man, something's that, and you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, and you're gonna get it, and you're gonna get it. Somehow we're having a little problem. It said you was in Papua New Guinea. Maybe you're gonna get some refugees from that island. And on that day, you're gonna revisitation of the groundhog season weather, the old groundhog effect of over and over again the same old contamination of Australia. What the fuck are we going to do about it? Are you going to bug her down? And you're going to do what you need to do in life. You can grow some greens in your house to eat so you get something healthy. Right, 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 right. Let's start there. I'm, you're going to plant some trees. Because trees give off oxygen and consume the CO2, which seems to be such a villain. Even though the molecule uh, of carbon dioxide is only milliseconds that it'll hold any heat at all. Yeah, check into that. So how the fuck is it warming the globe? You know what's warming the fucking globe? Stupid. Politicians' mouths giving endless speeches, demanding gate-kept information, presented in a certain way when the obviousness of the crime that's going on is right over your eyes. Look at the chemtrails going by in the ocean out here. Watch this. She shoots off. Some air, something came from New Zealand. I was looking at that earlier. Chemtrail, chemtrail, chemtrails make the air smell. Chemtrails smell. I'll give you all southern chem bomb on that one. What's the formation here? 
What's that bomb? Tell me what's happening. What's that bomb? Tell me what's happening. What's that bomb? Tell me what's happening. And the government goes, why should you want to know? Right? Oh, you don't need to know that. It's safe. Oh, four to five dentists said this. Or blah, 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 blah. Billionaire wants you to have this. He says it's going to be better for his world. Get the fuck out of here. You know what's better for a millionaire's world? Trillions. Trillions, though. Tr to be in a trillionaire. And as we look at these evenly spaced plumes of cambomination going out to feed the edge of this storm, we must confront head on it. Hey, we have been lied to. But hey, a politician would never lie to you. You tell me one that ever kept all their promises they gave on Epstein. And we're going to do this. Or read my lips, no new taxes. And da -da -da blah, blah, blah. It's all a bunch of blah, blah, blah. And well, I'm sorry. The blah, blah, the blah, blah needs to stop being the, such a blah, blah. When all this fucking combination is streaming across the area of Sedona that is continually impacted by geostorms. And well, this square of nucleated EMF electromagnetic frequency over the top of these people is not healthy. Do you want to live in a microwave? Did you want to? Do you want to live in a microwave? you want a big microwave band coming towards you? you? Wait till this shit finishes coming over the top of you in the next 24 hours. These are the chem bombs that are fueling your storms. Sydney, Gosford. Newcastle and inland in the various areas of inundation that will occur today. As beautiful, blessed water cleanses bad attitudes out of the world, we look at the triangle formation off the coast and have to wonder to ourselves, how did we not notice this sooner? As that's my big question to myself. How did I not notice this sooner? Okay, I got fooled. Ha, 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 ha. A politician light. Yeah, 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 and, and and bend things toward their own projects. You know, you would never have a building uh, permission person in a local town make sure something happens on the land that they own. Or make sure that the stop happens here or the exit to the highways near my gas station type thing. As we go backwards and watch the continual bombing of the center of this storm. Look at the temperature change, right? Colder. Causing internal dynamics of a storm to change, and it swirls it. It has to. Creates vortices. Also creates hail. So, what do you think's in this so? And what do we have have get deployed here? Chemtrail. Right there. Before your eyes. Let's see if we can pick up on any of that. That's this area here. Yeah, I did the double load today. We got this going on. And hello, everybody. Hiya. Evan, Joan, uh, Kim Kennedy. Uh, I'm going to try your name. Ninsiv. Nins IV is the internet. I'm going to go with that. Um, hiya, Andrew, and uh, everybody that took the time to even uh, lurk and watch. Because I can read your comments today. Enough rain already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, when the rain uh, from the plains is causing you to complain, then your vibe is low, feeding a low vibrational dimensional reality that we exist in right now that is so many people want. To, to be a, ascended to a higher frequency. And this is very much dampening the frequency, man. It's fucking with my vibe, man. And if they could just stop doing this, that would be great. You know, if you could stop having something here that you spray and it comes out here in the ocean where you look at these noticeable squares of area of non-cloud with areas of clouds that are absolute nonsense and it's streamering out. Streamering out. Over the ocean. And that would be this area of contamination here. And if we're fortunate enough, it's going to show. So we'll let that clear up. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Boom, 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 The politician's last movement. Boom, 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 Fire the rascals, man. Vote the rascals out. Remember that one? We're going to get rid of this and drain this one. We're always getting rid of what was there before, and it never fucking happens with every political promise. Who's What's it going to be this time? What's the schmamis is going to be in the USA is as the frothing of the of the literal gladiator show goes on on television for who's going to be the next Michael. <laughs> I want to be like Mike. Mike should be able to be Mike's self and been the first openly gay transsexual president's wife in the history and been honored for that. And honesty 
of their being themselves. But instead, you get a perpetrator fraud, perpetrator lie to get fucking votes a certain fucking way. We got to have a religion. You got to have a certain number of children. You got to be married. Why do you got to be married uh, to be a good person? Maybe you just want to live. What is fucking such a bad thing? Well, I'll tell you fucking what. It's a fucked up planet when shit like this is going on off your coast. When I, those square areas which I was showing you, they look like a derriere. You know, when you see the bombaciousness of it. So we were going to have a look at the chem bombs going off in this spot. Because we've seen evidence of it on the other feed. The feed, where they feed you the lies and they feed you the shit. And they tell you this is a glitch and they tell you this is a that. When I see it plain as fucking day before my eyes, stupid will go away, you know. Stupid will travel some of these fucking roads and get fucking hung out to dry over the next 24 hours. Rather than just chill where you're at, wait 24 hours and, and chill. You know, go to your spot and then have beautiful fellowship, uh, a little extra time. Or tell somebody, don't come over. No, not today. Why? Because I don't want you eating my supplies because I might be need. <laughs> nah, nah, this is emergency day. You will go home and practice. What would you do during an emergency? What would you do if there was a gas attack over your country? What would you do if you seen something like this and it was headed this direction instead of this way? Is it okay that they did this over to Wales? Is it okay that this energized area here of microwaves is now pulsating the water itself, causing infrasonic undulations, which causes major discomfort to animals whose guidance system relies on the body skin and sensors that are embedded in it that we've never taken the time to understand in a way that doesn't make money off it? Right? They'll, they'll do something to make sure they can make money for a navigation system for warlike purposes. How did they do it? And Mr. Limpet, how did he do it? But all I know is maybe we should just learn some things just to be cool and to know them. And Jay, this ain't it. This ain't fairy dust. Hey, Bozy, jump in the middle of the cloud of that shit breathing. Numb nut. You're a numb nut. I'll call you there forever. Because you spread lies. Lies. What would a politician lie to you? He was running for office. Never run for office on the promise of I'll challenge the system. What did he do when he got out? He dupity duped your fucking asses. He said chemtrails was a lie. And you know what, Bozy? I hope you got a house in the path to this fucking shit and the water will beautifully cleanse you as these heavy, heavy amounts come through. Over the next 24 hours, this is what Sydney's getting. Now, hey, are you happy about this? I'm going to let that roll for a minute. Let you think about what I just said. You know else you should think about? Check into uh, hashtag expose the 28. Check into geoengineering. Check yourself into a place where you can chill out a little bit and relax and calm the fuck down. I'm not a panic person. I don't. I'm the opposite. I make a reaction. I look behind to see if you followed me and I go, oh, well, that sucks. Stupid just went away. Oops. How come you didn't stay behind? Why? Because you're going to want stupid shit. When emergency time comes, we know what to do. We practice it. And it's a good time to always have a plan. As the inundation of the northern rivers is going to begin here in a few days, this is not cool, not cool at all. Because I've only shown you the next, tw the first 24 hours of what's going on. I ain't shown you nothing else. Right? I, I haven't shown you all this yet. Right? I ain't showed you all that. Look at the sweat. Look at your planning for you. The aroma of mildew is going to fill the air and go all over the place. All the mildew that's being whipped up in these little dry spells in between. Every little mosquito that gets hatched, it gets whipped up into a storm. It comes your way. Coming your way, man. Coming your way. Here it comes. Ivanhoe with these big tendrils of shit. And here comes it for the gang. Here it comes for Canberra. Here it comes for this town with news I can't bear. But here it comes for me. Johnny Cab Maru. I don't know. I'm not even going to try that. Mike Delangelo. Would you paint us a new picture, please? If we want a sunny day with orange, orange uh, sun. And I, and I want deep, deep, deep blue skies with natural clouds and steam coming off the trees every morning to feed the skies with beautiful scented air. That's the day of Mike Delangelo. If we could start there, that would be great. And uh, put, a, put a mustache on, uh, on the Mona Lisa for me, please, because... Uh, uh, why are people standing in line to see that shit? Mamma mia. Oh, that would be French. They would go, Merde. Yeah, really, I, that would amuse me, actually. They'll find a way to wash it off. The Rubicon. Uh-oh. What the fuck is that? That's an 
interesting facial feature in the land. Hmm. I'm doing it at Termini. Oh man, I'm gonna do a big Imaginarium in this area. See, this has got a lot of potential. Boy, if there's some minerals here, man. There's some minerals here, and they're sluicing you. They're getting sluiced. So where does this run? Where do the rivers run? You got to know these things. Is it here? Did the rivers run here? And then he looks at a town, thinks about a movie called, and a river ran through it. Still Greta South. If I'm sorry. I love Greta, the town. But I, I regret it. Uh, the whole situation of the how dare you of it all. People need to educate themselves. Some moya, would you? Yes. Somebody's making some moolah over Greta, isn't it? Hey, swan pool. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. This area is going to get bad. This is very bad. You poor folks over the next 10 days. This water's got to go somewhere. 65. And then the double up. I mean, that's, that means it's a nine stop. There's two major events dumping the same amount. And that's washing out the sides of the roads where the bridge abutments are. It's you're, the, what they call the anchorages for the bridges are probably very, very stressed right now. But, you know, if you've got a dam that's been damming up the Murray River, I mean, plausible deniability comes to mind now. <laughs> Come on, be the activist. Activist. Or sit on your activist and get out of the way of the people that are just going to do. And today I'm just going to do this. I told you guys the warning. I showed you what's coming. Look at this. Hey, hey, Smelburn, you're going to be smelling very wet, too. I'll give you yours. As this next one comes to shore, you get smacked. Four, four, four. Woo. -hoo -hoo. Nothing. Whammo. Yeah, you get something. You know, 1.7 ain't nothing. 1.4. Hey, you get rain, 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 rain. Then I'm going to get to complain. And the rains from the plains going to cause folks to complain. And that's your forecast for today. And that's all I feel like doing right now because this is bad. Look at the wetness coming through the middle. That's when that one comes ashore. Yeah. Got nothing. You guys got a break. Enjoy it. Enjoy this break of non-total inundation. Enjoy what you get. Every little moment of it. Go out for a walk. Make a berm. If you've had water running through your house, take this time now to take some of that sand that's settled somewhere and pile it where it's useful. Yeah, make some sandbags and bags that could save your fucking living room and your stuff. Could save your supplies. Get them in the air if you're in this path. Help each other as you can. But don't go blue in the face, man. It's been a half a year of groundhog weather. Right? Yeah, over and over the same thing. It ain't been groundhog day. It's groundhog year. 2022. The year of the groundhog is what this one should be called. It's a one-off. We ain't having this year again. Never again. Should we have to turn on the screen and see this shit going on over the ocean? Never again should I have to warn people to, hey, check your high tides and just Google high tide in your town name and find out. Make sure to watch your wind directions right now. I'll be back on here a little later this evening um, to, to continually update it. But pressure-wise, it, it's plain as day. You can't, you can't change this part of the thing too much without fucking another storm coming. Right? This is the weasel here. It predictably spin one off, right? And dove down. Low dogs here. So everybody's leaning. It's fighting with this one, right? This is an interesting setup because either one of these could turn into a low towards each other at any moment because they're only one tick off. So with the flow directions of the low in this direction here and the heat of this here. An EMF beam down there sends that on its way, which will heat that one a little bit more and allow it to go. You've got two 952s. This is a very strange setup that they got pressure-wise, but it's, it's uh, elementary to read. The bubble up's in the middle. The 14 lines through here is running like hiss, okay, all the way over to Africa. So what's your next storm? Where is it? There's the low and there's the high. And they just move it along. Every bit of this just shifts at the same time. Add the dynamics, add the fuel, add the bzzz, add the frying, and away she goes. That's right, I haven't documented any of the frying. So let's do that. We had the pulse up here at Emerald, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, Charlie. The feet ain't ready at the moment. Enough is enough, and turn off the hose. Yeah, we need to. Become familiar with Robert, his tools, and an experience. Oh, I've, um, 
I um, posted a bunch of links in that talking video I did last night outside to give you the tools you need to monitor this yourself, to convince yourself, getting fried, as a circle turns into a square. See that? So don't tell me it always takes a harp to make a square. I will own you on that one with visible evidence. Yeah, I've been documenting this for a long time. This is a bad cell formed in this V right here because this is a pressure channel. And as it gets wider, this actually causes a pressure drop and will cause this to swirl. So by the time it gets in here, this is full on bad. So this is a bad cell. Until it dissipates, this one's going to run its course. Bit of a beam came up through here as well. But they can, they can destroy it at any time. All it takes is one of those. Big womp on the low deck. This goes over the top, and it's going to destroy the top half of the storm. But that water's got to go somewhere, okay? It either can be shattered apart, and the particles are flowed into a new place, because uh, the particulates uh, condensates can get smaller, right? And then can't overcome the updrafts and stuff. This is a bad signature. I don't like that. All right, I'll give you a little read. I'll do another minute. I got a fuzz box down low here. So that'll allow a channel for it to come over a little bit more, more like a slide. And I got another one here. Yeah, it's, as it slides along the coast, then they're going to let it out here, which the rain comes from here down south. So that's going to be your next move in a couple days. Here's your wetness coming, Brizzy. Brizzy, going to be drizzly, Brizzy. Hashtag exposed to 28. Are these sorts of things, they need to uh, hang out in a courtroom. Can we say that? They need to hang out in a courtroom. Say it slower. Say it slower. Say it really slow. They need to hang out in a court docket. Right. It is his type. Hanging them out there, man. If everybody files a lawsuit, it was. You could really. Uh, oh, what did I just do? Hello. Did that just fuck it all up? No. What else we got going here? I'm going to go to the one hour now. See what's new. I'm waiting for a move, actually. There's a move coming. We're going to have to use our noodles and nundle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nundle. I wonder who that's named after. It'll be somebody named nundle. Maybe it's a dog or a horse. And I find out some really cool things when I ask. How should I ask? What is Nundle Australia named after? I'm curious. I don't see the Nundle name meaning. It means an Indian boy. Hmm. Huh. Making people around laugh and feel good and in a relaxed atmosphere. I don't know. I could do that. Yeah, I could make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Relax. Take the follow it thing. Boy, are you fucked. As things go over these radars, bzz, 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 fry, fry, fry. Boom, boom, boom. Plum, plum, plum. Away goes your weather in a huge old fucking line as you get fucked from here to here. And Brooklyn gonna be a bit wet, wet over here. You know what I mean? You know what you're doing? Oh my god. Stay alive. Stay alive. Do, 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 bomb, 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 bomb. Bomb in the skies. Bomb in the skies. Bomb, 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 bomb. Come in your lives, come your lives, and it's wrong. Do, 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 do. Just a little impromptu of Hus kissing. Oh, baby, your name was Hus. We was a kissing in the rain. Sussex Inlet, boy, it's gonna be sucking inlet doing it. This shit comes ashore. Boy, are you guys gonna copy? Yeah, this is that area of general inundation. Inundation, inundation. For all y'all. This is fucked. Absolutely fucked. Oh, they changed it again. Look, they changed the view. Yeah, yeah, no. You ain't allowed to have that in 24 hours. Hey, the numbers have changed while we're watching it. <clears throat> I'll go with what it said earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they changed the numbers on us. God, I love it. And with that said, while the accuracy of what I said is still accurate, keep an eye on your tides. Keep an eye on the times. And, uh, hey, Higgins, here's one for you to draw. A great big dick. Yeah, if you want you if you want bullshit weather, you follow one of these people that charge you money. If you want to support my work, great. P a y p a l dot m e forward slash Robert Deutsch or contact me. You can buy a piece of jewelry and I, uh, and I'll help you, Higgins. You can draw a great big penis here because you're gonna fucking piss it down in this path. And I think you should suck what's coming out this end. 
And if that said, quit stealing other people's work and calling it your own other weather services because I've just given you the most accurate forecast you're going to get today. Big love. Peace.